Hello you beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. For those that are new, my name is Nelly. Today's story we're going to be talking about two sisters, Rachel and Leah. Now we see Jacob meeting Rachel and he just falls in love with her. And Jacob begins to work for the father. Laban asked Jacob, so what would be your wages be? He only wanted his approval just to marry his daughter Rachel because he was so much in love with her. He worked so hard for Rachel. After seven years, he asked for his bride. On the wedding night, he tricked him by switching the two sisters. He sends in Leah into the bedroom instead of Rachel. In the morning when he wake up, he realizes he's been sleeping with Leah, the older sister, instead of Rachel. I can just imagine how he felt. He went to the father and asked the father, why did you do that? And the father says, according to our customs, the oldest is not supposed to get married before the youngest. Now, why didn't he say this before the whole marriage ceremony? After figuring out what happened, Jacob says, okay, I'll work for another seven years. And Jacob marries Leah instead of Rachel. I can just imagine how Rachel felt or maybe how Leah felt. He worked for another seven years because he had so much love for Rachel. He was committed to Rachel. He was patient because love is patient. We read about that in 1 Corinthians verse 4, that love is patient and love is kind. So he was patient because of the love he felt for her. I'm sure Rachel felt like a queen. Jacob was so obsessed with Rachel and he overlooked Leah. Sometimes beauty is not everything because when you look at the character of Rachel and Leah, Rachel knew she was beautiful, but she was selfish. And yet Jacob didn't see that. I guess it's because maybe he was just so obsessed with her. When reading the NIV Bible, the Bible describes Leah's eyes as weak. And Rachel had a beautiful figure. I, I don't know what to his weak eyes, but when you look at the NLT Bible, it describes Leah's eyes that she had a sparkle in her eyes and Rachel had a beautiful figure. That goes to show that Leah had that spark in her. And yet when they describe Rachel, she just had a beautiful figure and she was beautiful. Now this is the twist of the story. The two sisters are now married to the same man, Jacob. Leah becomes a wife to Jacob, a man that did not love her. And Rachel, on the other hand, is married to Jacob, who adored her. And so Rachel had to share her beloved husband with her sister Leah. Leah falls pregnant, and Rachel doesn't. When we read verse 31, God blesses Leah with four sons, because God saw that this was the only way that would comfort her. It will mean so much to her. So it, God blessed her with four sons. I think Jacob showed Leah that he loved Rachel more. So in this situation, there was a lot of emotions and jealousy between the two sisters. When you feel unloved and unattractive, you turn to God. Like a lot of women that find themselves in the situations where you find your younger sibling getting married before you, or maybe you find your friends getting married and you're always the bridesmaid to all your friends and you just don't find a suitable person for you to marry. God sees your pain. Sometimes you find yourself attending every wedding just to meet that somebody who's going to love you and take care of you. God saw how Leah was in love as she deserved to be loved. Maybe at her age, there were no suitors to marry her and she had already given up. Like some women that when they come to a certain age, they just give up. They feel like, you know what, there's no point. Nobody's going to marry me at, her, at my age. Who told you that? Who told you that nobody's going to marry? Instead of focusing on God, you focus on age. I always give up an example of this aunt of mine who got married when she was over 60 and she's still happily married even today 
So sometimes you need to focus on God instead of focusing on your age. There are also men out there that are also looking for women, older women, not young women, women that are matured enough that are their age. I feel like even Laban, the father, saw the situation, probably he was worried about his daughter Leah. That's why he had to fast forward the situation because maybe he could see that his daughter was overlooked by men. Maybe he could see that there were no suitors coming for Leah. Leah got married to a man that did not love her, that loved her sister instead, and she knew that. I can just imagine the situation in that home. Maybe Rachel was just saying, so you think by just popping babies for him, you think he's going to love you more when you know he loves me? No, I'm sorry, that's my story. But I can just imagine the situation because a lot of families, they face such situations where the younger sister marries before the older sister. This kind of argument happens in families all the time. I feel like the only peace is when the first wife is aware of this situation. I see Rachel being selfish at, as, at some point, even goes up and takes out frustration on Jacob, making a fertility problem Jacob's instead of looking up to God. Jacob also loses his temper and reminding her who she should be talking to with regards to her predicament, which means in this family there was always tension. Sometimes you need to avoid jealousy in such situations because it will not change the situation. Take everything to God. Whatever that has happened, has happened. In many polygamous societies whereby the first wife cannot give birth to a child, the husband will take a second wife. This is where a family is built with understanding. In Leah and Rachel's situation, I didn't see it happening. Let me know how your feelings about the situation. In the comments below, how you would have felt being Leah, being married, being stuck in a marriage whereby you are married to a man who, know, who you know that this man doesn't love you, is so much in love with, the, with your sister. Rachel could have waited for God in this situation instead of being envious of her sister. No one wants the stigma of childlessness. You know when people start talking about you and saying, oh, that one doesn't have a child and that God has blessed the sister with so many children. And people, you know, say these things without realizing how emotionally hurting that is. But people say it anyway. Instead, Leah found her security in God. Although Leah may not seem to have great strength and courage, she demonstrated loyal faithfulness to God and her family. Forgiveness is the key for healing. You know, sometimes it's very difficult to forgive somebody, especially if it's somebody close to you. At least if it's somebody far, you don't see them. But if it's somebody close to you, my goodness, it's just so difficult. But healing takes time as well. God will give you that strength. Despite this overwhelming pain and rejection that Leah felt, but she found herself blessed beyond measures in the story. Thank you for watching up to the end. God bless you.